Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be explore one more interesting thing in SAP S4 HANA sourcing and procurement. In most of the conditions, as a part of your materials management, whenever we are ordering the materials, okay. So some suppliers are saying they require the advance payment or a down payment for that material. So today we are going to be discussing how exactly that down payment or advance payment will be managed for purchasing the any kind of the material. Once advance payment done. Then supplier will be supplying the material. So SAP has given the provision in the purchase order itself. We can able to add that down payment percentage or the amount while creating the purchase order itself here. So let's explore practically how we can manage this condition for advance payment in SAP S4 HANA sourcing and procurement. 2023 version here. Okay, so let's try to create the one purchase order. So here we have taken the example of your uh, supplier and one material as a petrol. Okay, most of the conditions. So whenever we are uh, ordering the petrol, okay, so it's a uh, costly. So supplier is asking about the 50% advance amount. After that, he is ready to supply that material here. Okay, so let's create. Purchase order for uh, petrol here for our uh, organizational data. So we are ordering 1000 liter of the petrol for our uh, company code 1234 plant as a retain here. Okay, at a price of 110 rupees price. Okay. And then the storage location. Now, the total condition, total price for this material, if you see here, it's a one lakh ten thousand rupees. Supplier is asking the fifty percent advance amount fee for supplying the material. After that, he is ready to supply the these one thousand liters of the petrol to the organization here. Okay, so for that SAP has given the provision. Okay, if at the header level, if you want to add the down payment, then we can go for the payment processing tax. There SAP has given the option for the DP category. DP category means what? It's a down payment category we have to select. Okay, sometimes in the single PO, if we have a multiple line items. Okay, line item wise also, if we want to add the down payment individually instead of going for the header. Okay, so SAP has given the provision under the invoice tab for the every line item wise also, we can able to add that down payment here, which is the available under the invoice tab as a DP category. Okay, both are the same line item wise. If you are giving then separately individual, we have to pay. And if we go to the header level, so combinedly together, we can able to add that down payment for that supplier here for all the materials. Now we can go with the header level that down payment processing here. Okay. For that to go to the header data of purchase order under the payment processing tab, SAP has given the provision to add the down payment category here. So drop down under the DP category, three options are available. We have to select mandatory as a down payment for this supplier here. So here two options are available. Either we can directly put down the amount how much exactly we are doing the down payment for that supplier. Otherwise, if we are providing a percentage, for example, 50 percent and we have to give the date here. For example, we'll give the today's date as a due date. Presenter system can automatically calculate that down payment. For example, you have to click on the check. Now see automatically 
as percentage we have given as a 50 percent so 55000 is automatically calculated both of them are the same if you want to give the percentage that's also fine if you want to mention the directly the down payment amount that is also fine here but after entering that click on the cross check and then try to save the purchase order so this is the provision which we have to add while creating the purchase order for the down payment or advance payment for your supplier okay and the same thing if you check the status tab okay down payment status is a, as of now it's a zero okay because as of now we are just mentioned we have to pay the down payment as a 55000 after that we have to create a purchase order now purchase order got created after PO creation the next we have to create a request for the down payment processing because this payment part will be taken care by your FICO team. Okay, so we have to request them. So this is our supplier who is required the 50% of the advance payment. After that only he is ready to supply the material. So we have to create initially the request for the down payment. After that, Eco team or accounts payable team is going to be clear the payment part for that supplier and then finally we can receive this material from your supplier after the payment part done by the accounts payable team in the organization here okay so we'll open one more screen here so the transaction code for uh, the requesting for the down payment, it's a ME2 TP. Okay. So let's save the purchase order. Once PO got saved, we can go for the requesting for the down payment here. Okay, so our purchase order got created here. Your number is a 4500801. Okay, we'll open this purchase order here. Okay, which is we are requested for the down payment of here 55,000 rupees. That is a 50% advance amount. Okay, now we have to go for the requesting this down payment to your accounts payable team here. Okay. So transaction code, as I mentioned here, ME to DP. So this is the transaction code for the down payment request. Enter the transaction code. Enter our purchase order number here. Okay. So the PO number is our 801. This is our purchase order number for the down payment. So change the date here as a today's date. Okay, remove this part which is not required here. So just we want down payment category as a M, M for once, it's a mandatory. Okay, enter the PO number and a today's date here. Then execute. This is the down payment monitoring for your purchase order. Here we have to request this down payment as we mentioned in our purchase order here. See, so that PO number will be coming here. Exactly how much down payment amount, down payment percentage, the supplier. We have to pay. as of now we are not yet clear that down payment is coming as a zero this is just the request now click on the header level data here your purchase order number will be triggering here automatically press enter for the down payment request okay as down payment request will be coming here so this down payment amount 55000 rupees we have to add it here so it's a changeable mode so we can Maintain that 55,000 as a amount, then execute. This is just a warning message. Now we know it too. Again, click on the execute. Again, we have to specify the date. Which date? Then supplier number. And here we have a special GL indicator, which is given by your FICO team, okay? which is the link between your reconciliation account 
and this down payment account gl account which is got linked here okay in our condition we have designed or we have taken from the fico that is the a a as a special gl indicator here presenter so here we have to give the specify the tax code as a v0 which is we have mentioned here as per your requirement and post double click on the rucha engineering and request got created here so our request got posted for the down payment for rupees 55000 against our purchase order here okay 450801 now if you check a purchase order again okay automatically what happened here refresh the po purchase order history got generated so as we requested a down payment for 55000 rupees as advance it got request got updated here okay so this is we have to do it from the mm side now the next part for the payment it will be handled by your sap fico team okay but just for information we'll see f-48 is the transaction code which is used by the accounts payable team or fico team for the payment clearance in the advance here okay this is the post vendor down payment enter the date enter our supplier number here this is totally given by your fico team okay whatever the amount 55000 which we are paying for that supplier we have to enter then bank charge is not required to put just enter the value date here and here again we have to select that special gl indicator which is a a which is given by your fico team okay we have to just request here click on the request so against our purchase order number that 55000 rupees will be showing as a minus here select that line item against that request click on the post so this invoicing amount or that payment got cleared under the document number 11 12 for our company code now the advance payment got posted here If we refresh our purchase order history, now see that down payment as we requested initially, now down payment got clear. And if we check the status in the header level, so it will be updated as a what down payment will be requested, uh, uh, down payment will be paid for 55,000 rupees against the order value as a 1 lakh 10,000 here. Like this, here we have to take the support from your fico team for the accounts payable and for the invoice clearing okay and we have to just request that advance payment to the fico team here so ma 2 dp which we have to use to create a request for the down payment and invoice or that amount got cleared by the fico team by using the f-48 transaction code is here that's it Thank you. Like this, we can able to manage the down payment processing or advance payment processing for the materials which we are purchasing as per requested by the supplier. We can able to pay the advance amount as per the requirement here. Thank you. So please like, share, subscribe my YouTube channel for learn interested things in SAP Asperna sourcing and procurement and visit our website www.taxskills.com. Thank you.